From Bond Family TV, and I know y'all surprised to see me. <laughs> it's been a minute, and I actually, I actually wasn't even planning on vlogging anymore. But I gotta keep it real with you guys. I missed you guys so much, and even though I have a busy schedule, I'm gonna try to make it a point to, I don't know, vlog at least once a week, something. Because I miss the interaction, I miss talking to you guys, and I just, I want to keep going. So, we're going to see where this thing goes. I'm not making any promises, but keep staying, you know, tuning in. I'm going to keep the content coming. So, today is Saturday. My husband and I just got home. We were in the ministry. So, we're home now. He's outside working um, on a car, and... Um, I am getting ready to start Sunday dinner. So I thought I would turn the camera on and just kind of like let y'all know why I'm back, say hello, and um, kind of show you what I'm cooking for dinner because I know a lot of people like to see us cook. So I'm going to um, show you what I have for what I'm making for dinner. And uh, I don't know, we'll see where the vlog goes from there. Listen, I never introduced you guys to Herc. If you've been following us on the Box Truck Couple, you guys know that we have a new puppy. He's a pit bull. His name is Hercules, and we call him Herc, but I never introduced him to you guys. So I'm getting ready. I just got home, and I wanted to take my clothes off because I had on pantyhose, and I didn't want him to tear my stockings because he loves to jump up on us. So I'm going to go outside and check on him before I get started with dinner. And I thought I'd take you guys with me. So before we go outside, this is not sponsored, but I use an app called Fetch. And if you guys are not using it, you need to. And I'm going to show you why. So I use Fetch. And... Put you on the thing. So I'm going to... So I use this app called Fetch. It looks just like this white one on the bottom called Fetch Rewards. So if you, as you can see from my Fetch Rewards up at the top in the right hand corner, I have 29,022 points. If you go to the rewards, you can see what you get for cashing them in. So if you have um, up to 3,000 points, you could get gift cards for a dollar. This one gives you uh, $3 gift cards, mainly to um, any other places that allow you to, to receive a gift card. For instance, if you can donate $3 to American Cancer Society. You can... Um, uh, Huntsman Cancer Foundation, you can give a donation. National Park Foundation, you can give a donation. And the higher you get, the more you get. So here's, uh, if you have 5000 you can also get a 3 or a $5 Amazon gift card. You can get a $5 AMC Theater gift card. You can donate to the American Cancer Society, 3 to $5. American Red Cross, you can get a $5 Apple gift card. Um, so we have 29,000, so 25 is the highest, and you can get $25 gift card for 1-800-BASKET.COM, 1-800-FLOWERS.COM, Advanced Auto Parts, Amazon, AMC Theaters, and the more rewards you get, the, the more you get, 50,000, you can get up to a $50 gift card at these different places. So it's really super easy to use. I just scan all my receipts. You get points for grocery stores. You get points for, um, you get points for, um, restaurants, gas stations, any receipt. You, it guarantees you at least 25 points. And the more, um, things that you use that, there's a special for the more points you get. So let me show you how it works. So still got the app up on my phone 
and this orange camera, you're gonna press that and then press the orange button which says snap. Now, once you snap, a camera pops up, right? And so you're gonna take a picture of your receipt. And now this receipt is pretty long, but we're gonna see if we can get it. So, is it gonna let me? All right, so I just took a picture of the receipt and we're waiting for it to upload. Now, it's looking for the store number, the total, and the date. And that's right here. All three of them are green. So you hit the green button. I'm sorry, you hit the submit button, which is blue. And then it says receipt is uploading and I got 249 points from that receipt. Now. It asks if I want to snap another, and I do because I hit the wrong button. Because I have other receipts that I haven't scanned yet. So I'm going to take another receipt. I know it's long, but this is a different receipt. And I'm going to take a picture of that. So it's still looking for the store, which I think is at the front of the receipt. So I'm going to retake the picture. And it's spinning, so it's thinking, it's scanning and looking for it. So now all three are done. We'll hit submit. Now, if you've scanned this receipt before, it'll say that it's a duplicate. But this receipt is not a duplicate. I got 499 points. All right. And then the last receipt, this is from Family Dollar. It was chilly this morning. I went in there and got a little hat, a little beanie. I'm going to scan that. It's thinking, looking for everything. It got all three items. So we'll hit submit, thinking again, then uploading. And this time I got 25 points. That's how easy it is. Now it put my points at 29,796. That's how easy it is. I think I'm gonna keep going until I get 50,000. If you're interested in using this app and getting cash back, you uh, download the Fetch app and use this code on the screen for a referral. It's gonna give me 2,000 points and it's gonna give you 2,000 points, okay? All right, let's go see her. It's a dreary day out here today, y'all. It's not raining, but it's super dreary. But at least it's cool, it's not cold. It just feels good. It's very pleasant out here. So let's see where he is. Hey. Hey, Hercules. Hey, big boy. Hey. Hey, Hercules. Hey. Hey, Hercules. Hey. Hey. Hey, boy. Hey. Hey, boy. Hey. Hey. Uh-uh. Calm down. Hey. Calm down. Calm down. Hey, boy. Hey. Hey, boy. Hey. Sit, sit. Good boy. You been a good boy? Huh? You been a good boy? No. Sit, sit. You been a good boy? Huh? Say hey to the people. Say hey to the people. Say hey. Say hey, say hey to the people. Calm down, uh-uh. We gotta teach you how not to climb up on people. Good boy, good boy. Y'all had not seen the garden lately. We got turnips going. These are turnips on this side, kale over here, and we got some collards down there. 
They're doing pretty good, y'all. All right, so that is turkey leaves. I didn't spend a whole lot of time outside with him because I need to get the cooking and not have a three o'clock call. It's like 15 till. I have a quick consultation, but I did want to introduce you guys to him because it's been a minute. And on this channel, I hadn't introduced you. So if you haven't been following us on our other channels, you wouldn't know who he was. I think he's in our last video briefly. You can probably um, see him playing just a little bit, but I hadn't had an opportunity to introduce you to him. He's the love of my life outside of my husband. So I'm washing my hands up real good. Anytime I go and play with him, if I'm gonna, well, not if I'm gonna do anything. Once I'm done, I always, clean my hands really good because he is a dog and he gets into all kind of stuff outside we're in the country so um he gets into all kind of stuff so make sure that i clean my hands really good so i'm gonna go have that call it's only gonna be about 15 minutes and then i'll be right back for us to get started all right. on before i jump on the call i'm gonna start the meat with um doing italian green beans which are flat string beans which are flat and i always uh use a meat in them and i thought i had smoked turkey but i don't i do have country ham bones my husband likes to put these in greens from time to time so the first thing that i do is i put them in some water and let them boil to cook off any grease extra sodium and stuff in the meat because while we like the pot season my husband has a sensitive stomach he can't do a lot of salt or a lot of grease so i'm gonna go ahead i covered the meat in water and i'm gonna go ahead and put those on the stove on high before i go on my call so that they can go ahead and start boiling I'm also going, this is some beef sausage, Hillshire Farm beef sausage. I'm going to put those on the boil so we can have a snack while I cook. There's the cutest little girl. There's the cutest little girl in my congregation that comes up to me every single Sunday and hugs my neck super tight. She sat with me at our last congregation meeting and she's just the sweetest little girl and I'm probably going to steal her and bring her home and keep her. <laughs> she's about five years old and her name is Catalina, Catalina and she is super, super cute. So I got her just a couple of gifts. Her favorite color is pink. So I got a pink and gold gift bag. She loves pink puppies. So I got her the cutest little pink puppy. Uh, it's called, it says the petting zoo. So I'm gonna leave the little tag on it. She is so super soft. So we're gonna stick her in the bag. I also got her this writing board where she can write or draw on it, erase it and do it again. So I got her this writing board and she loves cookies. So I'm going to throw this entire, I'm going to put three of these, three chips of oil, three Oreo, and she loves peanut butter cookies, three nut butters, and that's going to be the little gift that I give her tomorrow at the spiritual meeting. And I'm gonna put this pink paper inside. And 
that's going to be her gift. Welcome back from my call. Sausage are ready. And the ham hocks. I could tell that I boiled a lot of salt off of them. I'm going to show them to you. See the color of the water? How yellow it looks? That's all that sodium, y'all. So I'm going to pour just about all of that off. I like to leave just a little tiny bit. Just a little tiny bit in there. Because I don't want to get rid of all of the flavor. So now I'm going to cover them again with water. Can you see me? I'm going to cover them again with water and let them start cooking. I'm going to use this pot that I had the sausage cooking in for to cook this elbow macaroni. I'm making the macaroni and cheese. So I'm going to use the same pot. And this sausage is good. So my husband and I are probably getting ready to eat these up in a sandwich. I'm going to put them in this little bowl. I'm going to wash this pot out. Ooh, all right, y'all. I know it's a little hot, ain't it? All right, y'all. So wash this pot out. And I am going to put in it chicken broth. This is how I make my macaroni. You don't have to make yours like that, but it's how I make mine. So I'm gonna put this whole container of chicken broth and I'm gonna let it come to a boil and once it comes to the boil, I'll add this macaroni and cheese. So the, the elbow macaroni has uh, cooked enough. I only do it about seven or eight minutes until they're called what's called al dente. And so I'm gonna pour them in a strainer. Now you saw that I cooked them in chicken stock, but what you didn't see is I put just a little cap full of olive oil in the chicken stock and macaroni noodles just so they wouldn't stick. Okay. So we drained the chicken stock off and I'm gonna pour my macaroni noodles in a bowl. All right, so that is what it looks like. Now I'm gonna add cheese. I'm using shredded cheese. Sometimes I um, purchase the block cheese and shred it. I didn't feel like that today. I'm using Sargento for cheese Mexican. So that's one. I'm using Kraft sharp cheddar. Each one of these packets is two cups, so I'm going to add about um, four cups of cheese. Make sure you save some cheese for the top. Now that I've added that, Stir it until we get all that cheese mixed up in there and get it melted. So I'm 
gonna be good and cheesy. Get it good and melted. Every time I turn it, you guys, I see the strings, okay? So we'll let that sit for a minute while we make our roux. Okay, before we make, let me get these cheeses out of the way. Before we make our roux, we're gonna put some seasonings in here. I'm using um, pink Himalayan sea salt. Just about, I don't know, let the spirit lead you, you guys. I don't know, uh, I don't use measurements. I just shake until it feel right. I use a little chicken bouillon, just a little, just for flavor. We've already got uh, chicken stock in the, in the noodles, just a little. I'm gonna do a little onion powder, just a shake of that. Uh, ooh. Oh my goodness. it all from the top. I forgot that one didn't have, it didn't have this. A little shake of garlic powder. And then this is paprika. So we're gonna use a little paprika. For some coloring, okay? I'm gonna stir all that together. And we're gonna add our seasoning. And we're gonna mix it all together. Now this is getting a little stiff because of all that cheese. But you wanna stir it up as good as you can. That seasoning. Okay, now we're gonna make our roux. Y'all know I'm not really used to teaching. I keep saying, oh, I forgot this, I forgot that. So the next thing we're gonna do is add the sour cream. And I think the reason that I let this get so stiff is because I keep going, oh, I forgot this, I forgot that. But this sour cream is gonna help it loosen up a little bit. That's just all that cheese, y'all. So that's the sour cream. Then we're gonna get our eggs and milk and stuff and make our roux. I know I keep saying it. Okay, so that's the mixture. I use this much sour cream, just this whole container. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna add is whole cream. I use the whole pint, but I'm gonna save a little bit to drizzle on the top. So try, I'm gonna save just a little bit to drizzle on the top. Okay, if I was making a big macaroni, I would probably use this whole thing, but I'm only gonna do about eight ounces because I'm making a small one. All right, so now we're gonna add the egg and I'm gonna use about four eggs. Now I'm gonna use three because I'm making a smaller macaroni. So if I was making a big one, I'd probably use five or six. I'm gonna use three. And we're gonna take our whisk and make sure those eggs get good and beat. And you can tell by the color 
it's starting to turn yellow as you can see on the video so it's getting good and mixed up okay so i'm gonna take my cast iron skillet and i'm gonna grease it really good really good and i'm gonna heat this in the oven the oven's already preheating to 350 so i'm gonna sit this in the oven and let it get good and hot okay now that the pan is all greased up we're gonna go ahead and add our macaroni and cheese mixture mine is a little stiff so i'm gonna break it up I want it to be evenly distributed across the pan. I'm gonna give my roux a little twirl and I may not need to add that extra heavy whipping cream. Because I believe I have enough. I do. But making sure that the mixture gets down in there. Because I had so much cheese, you guys, that it made it stiff. So I'm just taking my whisk and going around and making sure that that mixture gets all down up in that macaroni and cheese instead of just sitting on top. We got Sargento four cheese. Mexican, it has shredded Monterey Jack, Asadero cheddar, queso, quesadilla, natural cheeses. And then we have the board and shark. So we're gonna mix these cheeses. Make it good and cheesy. So that's sharp. Don't want to use too much of one and not enough of another. So we're going to put that four cheese Mexican on the top. gonna be good all right so we got all our cheese okay so before we put it in the oven I'm gonna sprinkle the top with some paprika and some pepper and the pepper is because I love pepper on my mac and cheese and the paprika is for color how heavy you want to go on either is up to you all right so paprika pepper and we'll put a few parsley flakes
Alright, so this is what it looks like. Woo! The sunrise, late nights, wishing that this would be over. Cold eyes, the same vice. We won't be getting any closer. We're supposed to be young okay, days. Okay, so I feel like. Ham bones are cooked good. I bought two, but I only think that we need one. Yeah, I think one will do good. Or maybe one and a half. I sliced some onion. I thought you guys were going. I cut up some potato and sliced some onion and I'm gonna add some seasoning and then just let them cook, boil down. I put this in everything, you guys. I have the chicken bouillon for certain things. I don't use the beef so much, but I have the beef as well. It seasons the pot perfectly. So I'm going to add some bouillon seasoning. Oh, and I need it one more time because I got to do the chicken. I'm going to add some onion powder. And I got to be careful because this doesn't have... Yes, it does. I take it off wrong. I should flip the top. So I'm gonna add some bouillon, I mean some uh, onion powder. This is garlic powder. This is pepper. Pink Himalayan sea salt. And you season to your taste. I'm sorry, I can't tell you two tablespoons of this or three tablespoons of that. I just season to our taste. So season the way you normally season. And uh, taste your pot as you go so you know if you need to add more. Last but not least, we're going to bake some chicken. I have the chicken drumettes, which are, they're cut. The wings are cut instead of whole. Let me clean them, and then we'll season them and get them ready for the oven. to go on the mac and cheese so I wanted to turn the camera on and show you what it looks like straight out the oven I'm so excited because I took a peek y'all and it looks good I don't know why I got still got this pizza box we had pizza last night I got like five pieces left I'll probably heat them up slap them in the oven with the chicken and let them heat up for a minute I know I just had a piece of sausage, but I'm a little greedy. Six seconds. Can't wait for you to see the Hercules. Can't wait for you to see um, 
what it looks like. Turn the timer off, but leave the oven on because you got chicken to stick in there. If you cook with me, that's what I do. Ooh, this mac and cheese. Mac and cheese, please. Ah. Ooh, this mac and cheese. See that pretty coloring? See that pretty color on the mac and cheese? From all the cheeses and the paprika? So we're gonna stick our chicken in the oven. And I think I'm gonna whip up a cornbread real quick, quick. But ooh, y'all. Ooh, this mac and cheese. Mm, 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 mm. That's my mac and cheese, y'all. I put the uh, actual lid to this cast iron skillet on the mac and cheese, and I turned the uh, handle so I don't hit it. The Italian green beans are simmering and the chicken is in the oven. That is a meal. I think I'm gonna whip up a quick cornbread for my husband. You guys have seen it before. If you have it, click the link above. Um, but I'm yeah, that's gonna about do it for our Saturday meal.